Now, y'all know I'm somebody who is always down to hear and talk about and listen to all these crazy trade rumors and any possible crazy trade ideas. I'm all for it because I just never want people to dream small. I never want people to be like, oh, well, that'll never happen. So I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to talk. No, talk about it. Enjoy it. But... Even though I like talking about it, it doesn't still mean that I won't shut something down that I feel like is not a good idea. And FanDuel, they had this crazy, this insane trade proposal for the Baltimore Ravens to acquire one Brandon Ayuk. And a lot of trade proposals I haven't seen for him. I'm cool with it. But this one, I was like, uh, yeah, nah. But something that we say, ah, yeah, yes to is giving a shout out to all of our Team Keep It Clean patrons. I love y'all. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean channel members down in the comment section. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean, period. Make sure you subscribe, turn the notifications on so you do not miss not a single video. And leave a like on the video because it helps out a ton. Now, let's look at this trade proposal right over here. So this is what FanDuel proposed. And they said, who says no? I'm going to tell you who says no in a little bit. So, the Ravens would receive wide receiver Brandon Ayuk. Okay, hey, I'm, I'm down for that. I like that. I like Brandon Ayuk. He's nice. He's somebody that's always open. He catches with his hands. He ain't got the most speed in the world, but he also doesn't need it. He's good at making contested catches. He got great body control. But anyway, we'll get into that later. Getting Brandon Ayuk would be nice for the Baltimore Ravens, though. He's somebody that has continued to be productive as well. Uh, and the thing with him... He's been working with somebody who is, okay, no, let's just continue. Who says no? Let's get into the trade. So Ravens receive Brandon Ayuk. But what would the Ravens have to give up? Because in a trade, you can't just take. You got to give too. What would the Ravens have to give up to acquire Brandon Ayuk in this proposed trade? Well, that proposed trade? Let's see. 49ers will receive a 2024 62nd pick. So Ravens second round pick. Okay, second round pick, that ain't nothing. That's cool. A 2024 165th pick. Okay, that's still fine. It ain't nothing. And a 2025 second round pick. So two second round picks and another pick. Oh, th- all right, cool, whatever. Two seconds for Brandon. Oh, yeah, cool. And Rashad Bateman. <laughs> Hold up now, buddy. Now look, look. I know uh, a lot of Ravens fans have even talked about the possibility of trading Rashad Bateman, him being included in a trade for Brandon Ayuk. But giving up all of this and Rashad Bateman for Brandon Ayuk, I I just, I'm sorry. That would be a no from me. It, It really would because that's giving up too much in my opinion. Like if the Ravens gave up first round pick, pick number 30 for Brandon Ayuk, even if they gave up like a second and a third, second and a fourth, uh, second and a fifth and sixth, second and a fourth and fifth, cool, because Baltimore Ravens, they still got to pay him. Brandon Ayuk ain't just trying to get traded and they be like, oh, okay, everything's jolly now. No, he's trying to get paid too. So the Baltimore Ravens will be receiving a player, but they got to pay that player as well. So when you got to pay a player a significant amount of money, Especially one that you don't typically do, you know, the Baltimore Ravens. But anyway, if you got to pay that player, then you should be able to give up a lot less. Just my opinion, though. But it's not over there because while that trade scenario is one that I would not be for, there's another option out there. And let's talk about it. And let's read the report from none other than Tom Pelissero. And you can see it here. It says Broncos wide receiver. Cortland Sutton did not report on Monday for voluntary workouts as he seeks what? A new contract per sources. So Cortland Sutton, that's one that we talked about a while back. A while back and now, hey, them conversations about to start right back up again. It says Sutton is going into his 10th, going on his 10th starting quarterback in seven seasons. Wow. That's a lot of change. It's a whole lot of change. But anyway, uh, and he only has $2 million in guaranteed money left on his deal. That's it. $2 million guaranteed. Let's continue, though. He had 10 touchdowns in 2023 while ranking 56 in target. So he produced, um, which is a beautiful thing because we always want to see people produce. But with Corlin Sutton, that is a, a trade target that I, in my opinion, I think would be a lot cheaper 
uh, than a Brandon Ayuk and a lot more manageable. Um, and even not that getting Brandon Ayuk is unrealistic, but I, I think getting a Cortland Sutton would be more Baltimore Ravens ish uh, because he's somebody that's a lot more low key right now than Brandon Ayuk. Uh, he's somebody that he can still play, obviously. Uh, and I think the Ravens, they I, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure they tried to, tried to get him like a couple of years ago. They were interested in him like a couple of years ago. I'm pretty sure because the Broncos other receivers were Jerry Judy. They weren't interested in him, and it was Tim Patrick. He used to be a Raven years ago. Was it Tim Patrick or Corlin? I know it was Tim Patrick that used to be a Raven years ago, but I'm trying to think if it was Tim Patrick or Corlin Sutton that the Baltimore Ravens were interested in. I'm pretty sure it was Corlin Sutton, but obviously nothing happened with it. So if that was the case, this would just be them circling back around again like they love to do for a lot of players. And really on that second time, that's when they end up getting them. Um, but calling son, somebody that because uh, I know a lot of Ravens fans have been talking about the big body wide receiver. Ravens need the big body wide receiver. They need a big jump ball wide receiver. And that's calling Sutton in a nutshell. That's him literally all day, every day. Um, he could definitely come into the Baltimore Ravens and just be that guy. Now, um, wh what I've been continuing to say is that while I, I do expect the Baltimore Ravens to make a move uh, at the receiver position for somebody of significance, um, I would hope that they could do it and keep Rashad Bateman. And I get it. I know business is business and you can't keep everybody. Um, but I would hope that they could still keep Rashad Bateman. Um, that would be my dream scenario. For this year at wide receiver Baltimore Ravens do an upgrade And they keep number 7 So we'll see how that ends up shaking out But I got a, an email And a question from my guy Javo at the receiver Position, a couple of questions Number 1, he asked How come the Eagles and all these other teams Got so much cap for players But we don't and he said that after the Philadelphia Eagles they signed Devontae Smith to that big I think 75 million dollar extension well um they are able to do that because of the way that they structure the deals and they use a whole lot of void years on those deals to really stretch it out to really maximize their spending they put a lot on a credit card and they're like all right we'll make the minimum payments on that credit card every month but we ain't paying the balance off all the way but we're gonna keep spending we're gonna keep on doing it and i ain't mad at them at all i ain't mad at them at all i know people tend to say oh yeah you kick the can down the road well you're gonna have to pay the price in the long run i mean when is that gonna be for them i mean you see the saints every year saints be like they be like Dude. Saints so be like 200 mil over the cap every year and uh then they they find out they they restructure deals they end up uh still signing people and whatnot they still end up getting under every single year people been talking about the saints for years but on um, with the eagles the eagles been the new team to really uh really find a new way to spend that bread um so it's void years and i'm sure it's something else too uh but the eagles they they get it done because they be going crazy with it. But his other question, speaking of wide receivers, he said, if you could only trade for one, who would it be? Brandon Ayuk. Okay, I like that. Or DK Metcalf. Oh, yes. <laughs> if it's me, it's DK Metcalf all day. Uh, reason is DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf, he got, the, he got some great speed. He got good hands. He be dropping some every now and then. I, I feel like Brandon Ayuk's hands are better than DK Metcalf's, but uh, DK Metcalf, a yak monster. Both of them are yak monsters. Um, both of them, if plays break down, D I feel like DK Metcalf will be a slightly better fit for the Baltimore Ravens than a Brandon Ayuk. But again, for me, I mean, for the Ravens, it's a win-win either way. But if I had to choose one, it would be DK Metcalf. Another reason, his contract is already set. His contract is already set. I mean, he may want a little raise or something, but his, his contract is already set. And then with DK Metcalf too, you think about situation. Brandon Ayuk been with the 49ers for a while. They keep getting to all these NFC Championship games, get to the Super Bowl. So it's like they they so close. They stay right there. But then in that same division is the Seattle Seahawks, and they they are not right there. 
Now, anything could happen because they got Mike McDonald over there now and he could completely change the culture of the Seattle Seahawks. And not they weren't like this trash, garbage, terrible team, anything like that, but they've been struggling for a while. So DK Metcalf could look at that and be like, mm, who's our quarterback gonna be? I know we got we did bring Geno Smith back, but um is he could he can he really get it done long term? Can we get there with him? Are we close with him? Yeah, we got a new regime coming in, but are, are we close to getting to the promised land of the Super Bowl yet? Then he goes to the Baltimore Ravens and be like, oh, man, they like they like that. They close, too. They For some reason, they can't get past them Chiefs, but they close. Could I be a difference maker there with Lamar Jackson? Was they flowers with Mark Andrews? Oh, my goodness. I got all these weapons around. And they just got Derrick Henry. Oh, my goodness. My job would be made that much easier. I'm choosing DK all day.